In this video, I'm going to show you one way to have sprites engage in back and forth conversations with one another. On this YouTube channel, I make coding tutorial videos just like this one, so if you're new here, please consider subscribing to help the channel out. In the world of video games or storytelling, having characters engage in conversations is a common way to tell a story or to inform the player or viewer of important things to know. In Scratch, we can accomplish this task by writing code for our sprites to speak at certain times and wait while the other character is speaking. This activity models polite real-world conversations without interruptions. In this project, I've gone ahead and created two sprites, Mark Z and Mr. G, that I'm going to add code to. When starting a conversation, both sprites should really be on the same page. I want to be able to click on the green flag and have both sprites know to initiate the conversation. To detect that event, I'm going to go to the events palette and I'm going to bring in when the green flag is clicked hat block into both of these sprites. And there we go. You can see it's in the scripting area of both sprites. It's a fairly good practice to get into the habit of using this hat block as an entry point to your program for most, if not all, of your sprites. So let's have the sprite on the left, or Mr. G, begin the conversation with the say block. So as soon as the green flag is clicked, I'm going to go over to the looks palette and drag over a say for two seconds block. And this block has two inputs, one for the text that should be displayed in the speech bubble and one for the number of seconds to display that speech bubble. Instead of saying hello, I want to say, hey Mark, why are you collecting all of my data? Now to have Mark respond, I'm going to use a say block in his scripting area. And I'm going to say, because you agreed to the lack of privacy policy when you signed up for Facebook. I mean, privacy policy. I totally did not mean to say that. Trust me. So I quickly want to test it out to see how it works so far by clicking on the green flag button. Uh-oh, both of our sprites are speaking simultaneously. I want Mark to not say anything while I'm speaking. So to accomplish this, I'm going to go over to the control palette and I'm going to bring over a wait block. The wait block has an input for the number of seconds to wait before continuing the script. So I have to think about how many seconds I want to wait. I know that my sprite spoke for two seconds, so I should have Mark wait for two seconds before responding to me. And I shouldn't have the wait block as the last block in this script, I should actually have it before Mark's say block, because I want him to wait two seconds before speaking. When Mark spoke before, I also noticed that his speech bubble was a bit too long. So let's break it up into three say blocks. First, I'm going to have him say, because you agreed to the lack of privacy policy when you signed up for Facebook. Then I want to continue by saying, I mean privacy policy. And then I want him to finish off by saying, I totally did not mean to say that. Trust me. So let me bring this part over. And if I connect all of these blocks, he should be saying this the way that I want. Actually, I think it'll be funnier if he pauses before he says, I mean privacy policy. So let me bring a one second wait block in between those two lines. Now in order for my sprite to respond at an appropriate time, I have to calculate how many seconds it takes Mark to do all of this. It seems like the total will be 7 seconds to wait because we have 3 say blocks that each goes on for 2 seconds and 1 wait block for 1 second. So let's go back to my character and let's wait for 7 seconds. I'll change the input to the wait block and then I'll respond with, I don't trust you dude. Let's test out our project so far. And it works. So you can see if you have a back and forth conversation between two or more characters, you'll have to calculate how many seconds to wait at various points in time for each sprite. Still, this can become a very tedious process if you're writing a really long dialogue. In the next video, I'll show you another way of creating a dialogue between characters without having to calculate wait times in between each say block. Also, if you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button.